I'd like to say, if anybody's feeling nervous, uh, apprehensive, or a little bit shaky on what I'm about to say up here, um, you've probably just married Dan Hubbard. <laughs> <laughs> Fornication. <laughs> <laughs> This. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been said that the best man to see should be as long as the groom can make love. Good night, everybody. <laughs> I'm a virgin, whatever. Uh, yeah, right. I've actually written two speeches tonight, um, one of the, which was a they're not coming back speech. Because I, I didn't figure they alone because everyone saw the amazing work that all went into the wedding. And I just want to say congratulations, you guys. You guys pulled it off. Fantastic. Woo! I swear to God, they're a bunch of band nerds. Um, they, they really do say that... Uh, In the back. <laughs> uh, they really do say that a, a wedding or a marriage is a match made in heaven. Guys, this one was a match made in band camp. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. My efforts to write this speech were, uh, I needed a little bit of inspiration. I, I turned to the internet, uh, where a, a plethora of information is, and um, after I was inspired for a couple of hours, I closed all the pop-up windows, and I actually got that secret. Yeah, everybody got that joke. Um, I was actually trying to find out some historical information on the 23rd of January, which my brother was born on, and um, absolutely nothing happened on the 23rd of January. I really couldn't find anything of importance. Uh, but oddly enough, there was a note on the uh, hospital's website in Washington, D.C., where Dan was born. Uh, the 23rd of January was actually considered Ugly Baby Tuesday. <laughs> Honestly, Dan, I just want you to know that you are like a brother to me. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I'm actually here. <laughs> I'm actually here to talk about Dan's one true love, string cheese. <laughs> the first time Dan and Laura actually spent a weekend together, Dan came home with just the goofiest smile on his face. I, I really just chalked it up to a wonderful weekend. This dumbfounded smile was actually uh, his way of showing the world that he is absolutely in love and because he has this dumbfounded smile on right now. <laughs> um, my baby brother, and I just want you to say this right now, our father would be overwhelmingly proud of you. I just want you to know that. Um, Hardworking, caring, knowledgeable, uh, never turn away a friend, always a helper stranger. Your. Um, Dan, I can't read the rest of your <laughs> Laura, you look great tonight. You really do. Um, uh, you're a true lady, kind. God, you both have terrible handwriting. You really do. <laughs> And uh, you are truly deserving of a husband, a fantastic husband. Good thing Dan got in there before you found one. <laughs> that one was uh, I want to say thank you to everyone for being here. Uh, both parents, both sets of parents, thank you so much. Without you, we could not have done this. The groomsmen, the bridesmaids, thank you very much. Everyone did a terrific job to get this off. Um, Dan, Laura, I love you both almost as much as I love video games. Finally, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say a famous quote, or a quote by a famous philosopher. She loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she loves you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to grab your glasses. Oh, God. To the newlyweds. May your minds be filled with love, laughter, and happily ever after. Oh, yeah. 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 Y